make sure that our, we have a couple of uh, my friends here uh, are filming today. So when they show cameras in your faces, it's for your own good. Thanks. <laughs>
I didn't come up here and take a seat, show everyone how it's done, be the role model for this group of bright eyed youngsters. Hi, Brandon. Hi. Hello. What's up? We have a copy of Panic Restaurant for the NES. So let's we'll switch over to the uh, unicorn cam. <laughs> Brandon, why don't you tell us about Panic Restaurant and how you came across this cartridge? Well, I went to a church garage sale and they were selling an NES for 50 bucks with like 20 games. And I mean, most of them were like Super Mario Duck Hunt. I think I had like four copies of that. <laughs> Um, so you bought the whole thing? Yeah, I bought the whole thing. Okay, all, all the right. games. And um, one of the games in there was Panic Restaurant. And I had tried to do research on it, but I couldn't really find that much information on it. And I had gone to flea markets and game stores and stuff, but nobody really seemed to have a copy. So I'm not too sure about the game. Yep. And it happens. Yeah, um, so, you know, collecting the Nintendo Entertainment System is becoming very popular now, um, as a lot of the kids who grew up with the NES uh, start turning, uh, uh, well, you know, over 30 in my case, and uh, start getting a little bit more money and start thinking, like, okay, I want to go back and buy all these things that I had as a kid, or in the case of really Panic Restaurant, didn't have as a kid. Um, a lot of people tell you. I mean, Panic Restaurant, it's, it is a late-release NES game. It came out very, very late in the NES's life. It's a popular game. It's by Taiko. It's a really fun game. Uh, <laughs> It's not worth $14,000. It's not. However, it is 
Is that a good deal? Twenty dollars for the whole set? Fifty? You still got a very good deal. I would pay that any day for. for <laughs> Thank you very much.